uh, famed uh, defense attorney and Harvard Law professor. Alan, thank you, sir. Thank you for having me on. Well, I appreciate it. Okay, uh, we've come a little further than the last time you and I spoke uh, over the weekend, and that is that um, the, uh, the the surviving terror suspect has uh, made, a, in effect, a court appearance in federal court from his hospital room. Uh, the details of the charges were not released, but according to U.S. Attorney from Massachusetts, he was charged with conspiring to use wep- a weapon of mass destruction against persons and property in the U.S., resulting in death. Um, yeah, we were told by Jay Carney today definitively that uh, the, the, he will not be charged as an enemy combatant. I know you agree with that, yet there are several in the, in the Congress that are, 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 are pushing for the other side. No, that's right. Uh, I don't think the law permits an American citizen to be charged as uh, uh, an enemy combatant uh, for committing a crime in the United States, primarily against American citizens. He's been charged with a terrorist type of crime. It's interesting they picked particular statute rather than the general terrorist statute, the use of uh, destructive devices of uh, producing mass casualties, and um, they seem to have a strong case. I have now read the affidavit of the FBI agent that uh, underlays the uh, charges, and it seems pretty strong. They have many more videotapes than had been previously revealed that seem to show a sequence of actions. Uh, It's not like just a photograph. It's a series of videotapes that show him from the very beginning to the very end and makes for a fairly strong case not only that he committed the act but that he did it knowingly and he did it intentionally right including the fact i believe uh, reported today that uh, he's on the cell phone um uh, for 18 seconds or so and then a few and it, just a few seconds before it explodes he hangs up or something yeah. to that nature so yeah it does directly link him so you're 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 convinced that he will uh, be brought to justice through the civilian courts and and you don't believe that there's any way as a matter of fact you said of those who were pushing like uh, congressman king john mccain lindsey graham to have him uh, classified as an enemy combatant i believe I believe your quote was that they didn't understand the uh, Constitution. No, they really have to go back to law school and, and reread the cases uh, and the Constitution. It really doesn't permit that. And um, they will be tried probably in two courts. The federal case against uh, him for the um, bombing at the marathon and probably a state murder charge uh, for the killing of the uh, policeman, perhaps an attempted murder charge for the shooting of the Transit Authority policeman. Having said that, I don't think this case is going to trial. Certainly it won't be a conventional trial. I predict there are two possible outcomes to this case. Either a plea bargain in which he tries to save his life by exchanging whatever information he may have, providing real-time intelligence for a a sentence of life imprisonment instead of the death penalty, or equally likely, maybe even more likely, he will proclaim that he did it and seek to have a jihadist defense where he says, I did it, I'm proud of it, I was right to do it, Uh, kill me, please execute me, I want to join my brother in paradise, uh, and uh, uh, I want others to use me as a role model. That's the other possibility. The idea that he gets up there and provides a typical defense of, well, it was duress, I didn't know what I was doing, I think that's very, very unlikely. Right, so you, so you, and we're talking to Alan Dershowitz here on the Steve Malsberg Show. I want to follow up on that, that latter uh, jihad defense, but, but you think also the, the defense that he didn't know what he was doing, he was just following his big brother, he was brainwashed by his big brother, you know, his big brother had all the postings, he didn't really have that many, he was, that, that's not going to fly either. I don't think so. When the jury sees him putting down a knapsack right. in front of children, knowing what's in that knapsack and knowing that it's going to kill those children, right. uh, it will trump everything. They will look at his pretty face. You know, Americans are suckers for pretty faces, uh, whether it's Amanda Knox or whether it's uh, this guy. And uh, but when but you know the case is obviously a very, very I was going to say different. yeah okay. <laughs> um, and and you know the the issue in that case is a much closer one but people are influenced by even when 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 Bundy was charged as being a serial killer people wrote him letters saying oh you're so pretty you're so handsome you couldn't have done it Americans are suckers for a pretty face well, but once yeah. they see the evidence of him of this pretty face putting down the the knapsack 
I think that's going to change. Yeah, well, uh, okay, there are also suckers, you know, uh, Robert Redford, before this bombing, was on Good Morning America, and he made a movie about the weather underground, oh, and yeah, he was specifically yeah. asked by George Stephanopoulos, uh, did you, 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 you were followers of them, you, you, you kind of rooted for them? He said, he said I, I don't know if I wanted a revolution, but I, I, I did admire them, and, he's, and Stephanopoulos said, what about the violence? And he said, sometimes you have to have violence. And yeah. then you got William yeah. Ayers, who's glorified. So, I mean, there's a big hypocrisy in this country, too. Oh, this it's more than hypocrisy. Uh, you look at uh, Kathy Boudin is now teaching at Columbia. Yes, yes. Uh, um, and uh, uh, Angela Davis uh, has had a distinguished career teaching heirs and his wife. Uh, these are all people who were terrorists. And no difference. Would you agree? No difference between them and, and this kid? You know, they're much worse because they're much better educated and had all the privileges in the world. Um, uh, so I, I see them as much, much worse. And I don't understand the way some people on the left glorify um, American terrorists um, uh, without realizing that uh, you know, it, it's, it's indistinguishable morally from the kinds of terrorism we're condemning here. And uh, I, just, I just don't buy it. Absolutely. Alan Dershowitz, thank you so much for your time. So really appreciate it as always. Bye-bye. Alan you. Dershowitz, uh, famed defense attorney, of course, and uh, Harvard Law professor here on the Steve Molesberg Show. So glad.